always seemed like an odd thing to do, to come all the way up here to build if there's all that marvellous building stone on the Giza Plateau. I just don't find the geological argument accounts for everything. Well, how would you explain it then, Dominic? Well, if we'd been standing up here four and a half thousand years ago, we'd have been able to see Heliopolis, and I think that's a really important clue. And why is that? Well, if you buy me a cup of coffee, I might just tell you. OK, you're on. Heliopolis, the city of the sun. For thousands of years, it was the capital of sun worship in Egypt. How could this case take the detectives to a city that's long been lost? Well, I've got your coffee here, but first I want you to explain why you think Heliopolis is so important for the move to Abu Ruash and Giza. If you look at the names of the pharaohs who built at Giza and Abu Ruash, you see something really interesting. Because first of all, you've got Jedefre at uh, Abu Ruash, and then Kaefre, Kefren. And Menkare, who built the third pyramid at Giza. Menkare, exactly. And what have these three pharaohs all got in common? Re in their names. Could a common name be the clue the detectives are looking for? Re was the sun god. He likely inspired these pharaohs to end their names with Re. But how would that move the pyramids? The Egyptians believed that every pharaoh joined the sun god when he died. So the pharaoh's final resting place had to be linked with this god. The pyramids may have been built to help the pharaohs make their final journey. But how? Well, Heliopolis was the city of the sun, wasn't it? They must have been worshippers of his cult because they all chose names which honoured him. Well, you can have your coffee now. Oh, thank you. But we still know so little about Heliopolis. Well, that's right. It's just a suburb of modern Cairo now. Might be worth checking out. The trail leads here, beneath the outskirts of Cairo. This is where Heliopolis once stood. But can anything be learned here now? Or is this ancient case grown too cold? After so many thousands of years, what could be left of an ancient cult worshipping the sun? Miriam meets Dr. David Jeffries, who has spent years trying to unravel the secrets of the lost city of Heliopolis.